Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. Apple releases iOS 17.3 RC update finally, and it came as it was expected. Now the update size is about 6.12 GP. It size depends on which software update you are now. For example, I am on iOS 17.2.1. That is why the update size is quite huge. If you're already running any beta version, the size will be different. But don't worry about that, it is not going to take any extra storage, it is just going to override the complete iOS. Well, first thing very first, let's talk about how you can download this update on your iPhone. So what you need to do is simply go to settings, then go to general, then go to software update over here and wait for a while. You will not see the update just like I did not, so go to the beta updates over here, select iOS 17 developer beta, go back and now you will see the update. Well, this update includes, actually this update introduces additional security measures with student device protection. This release also includes a new Unity wallpaper to honor Black History and Culture in celebration of Black History Month as well as other features, bug fixes and security updates for your iPhone. Now let's see what is new in this version and I will also talk about the should you get this version or not. So going back over here, going over here. Now let's talk about what is new in this version. Main highlighting feature of this software update of iOS 17.3 is the stolen device protection. Stolen device protection increases security of iPhone and Apple ID by requiring Face ID or Touch ID with no passcode, passcode fallback to perform certain actions. Security delay requires Face ID or Touch ID and R weight or and then an additional successful biometric authentication before sensitive operations like changing device passcode or Apple ID password can be performed. For example, your phone got stolen, unfortunately, and it is on a different location. So it is going to delay the uh, password change or uh, device passcode change thing. And it will also require face ID. So it is a really good feature that is going to give an extra additional layer to make your phone more secure and Apple is like trying that your phone may not get uh, stolen and if they get stolen the thief or theft whoever that person is may not able to get um, your access to your personal data which is really good now coming to the next feature is the new unity wallpaper because of the black history and the culture in the celebration of black history month there's a new unity wall paper now coming to the music application collaborate on playlist allows you to invite friends to join your playlist and everyone can add reorder and remove songs while a collaborative playlist came in the ios 17.2 beta but apple did remove that and it came back in the ios 17.3 betas and finally apple is releasing it with the ios 17.3 rc update and also with the ios 17.3 Emoji reactions can add it to any track in collaborative playlist. So you can react to any song with different emojis. I show you that in my previous video. Now this update also includes the following improvements. Airplay hotel support lets you stream content directly to TV in your room in select hotels. So it will be really cool that if you're already running Apple TV service, you can get access to it in different hotels. Definitely there will be a list of hotels. Apple Care and Warranty in Settings show you coverage for all devices signing with your Apple ID, which is a slight difference. Let me show you going into the setting. And there is the Apple Care and Warranty, which show you the list of your all devices. Car crash detection, uh, sorry, crash detection optimization to all iPhone 14 and 15 models. So there was a feature in the iOS that tells you if your car get crashed or get accident it gives a, a crash detection so that is optimized with this update also so apple also says that some features may not be available for the region or on all apple devices well these are some of the features that came with the iOS 17.3 definitely i am hoping to see bug improvements over here i'm hoping to see that apple may has fixed different bugs on the 17.3 well a simple question to is to you or to me is should you uh, should you update to the ios 17.3 and i can easily say that it is already in rc so if you want to update you can update i am definitely going to update but if you don't want to update you can also skip it you can definitely because you're already getting this next week 
while going to the 9 to 5 max over here there's a new article which tells you I have 17.3 with student device protection new wallpaper and more coming next week so Apple has already announced that they are coming with the iOS 17.3 next week official update so Apple also launches new black unity Apple watch face port band and iPhone wallpaper you can check details by going to 9 to 5 Mac if you want to well that's it from this video I hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video until then take care peace out